everybody. Today we're going to do some yin yoga. I have been talking about yin yoga recently. If you would like an overview of what yin yoga is and how it is influenced by Chinese medicine, please check out my video playlist and you'll be able to see the previous video to this one which gives an overview of yin yoga. Today we've got a few key poses to go through. I'm going to show you the poses and I won't hold them for the full five minutes but when you are doing this practice at home I really encourage you to carve time out about uh, 20 minutes to be able to go through this practice and stay with the pose for, for uh, stay with each pose for five minutes that is my hope and my intention that you will be able to do this to take time for yourself to really practice your yin and hopefully experience the, the benefits of yin yoga. To begin with, check in that you've got either a yoga mat or a comfortable level position at home. Uh, you can be outside on the grass on a mat or towel even if you don't have a yoga mat. Main point is, is that you're comfortable in comfortable clothing and you're feeling settled. You've got space around you to be able to move. I'm going to jump back onto my yoga mat and I've got my notes here so if you see me looking down to my sheet it is our plan it's our plan for our yin yoga class to start with I will get you to bring your knees to the width of your yoga mat your yoga mat or your towel but your, your knees they are wider than your hips so my hips are here and they go straight up, your knees are out of fraction. Uh, and you're thinking of length through your spine as you inhale, exhale, you're folding forward, extending your arms on the mat and start to tuck your chin, bringing your forehead to the mat. This is called your balasana, your child's pose. And it is a restorative pose which does help to release through your back muscles releasing through your shoulders and starting to bring your attention inward as you're in your child's pose i hope you're doing this at home i'm counting on you to do <laughs> to do your child's pose at home allow yourself to settle into your pose you're using your inhale to expand exhale you're sinking into your child's pose extending your arms away from you your palms are heavy body's heavy onto the mat noticing the weight of your body as you draw your breath in and exhale fully stay in this pose for four to five minutes if you don't have your mobile or watch handy to check the time count to 60 slowly and see how you feel then. You may want to stay longer in your child's pose. As best you, as best you can, stay with your the count of your inhale. Pause and count your exhale. Pause and repeat. Uh, that helps to activate your calming system, starting to slow the body and the breath down. That's your child's pose. Next pose, we're going to stay on our belly to move into our sphinx pose. For your sphinx pose, start to lift your chest to stack your shoulders over your forearms. And notice here if you're collapsing into your shoulders, this is an active, it is an active yin pose and you are pressing the mat away from you as you draw your breath in you're lifting checking to see if you would like to keep your chin level or start to tuck your chin which will lengthen through your, your spine with your feet your feet are pressing into the mat and you're lifting staying with your inhale and your exhale this helps to release through your belly, put pressure on, onto your abdominal muscles where we can hold a little bit of 
tension. We can hold through there. If you think of gut, a gut feeling, our belly uh, is where our intuition lies, where our body can notice, can sense what's going on uh, without that cognitive effort in the brain, that conscious thought. Uh, your, your belly is where you can really use your intuition and feel, notice your body sensation and trust your gut. That's where the saying trust your gut comes from, it comes from your, your belly and listening into your soul, your belly, your soul, your heart, your mind, listen, uh, offering internal, offering yourself time for internal listening. So to release through your belly, allowing yourself to apply the weight of your upper body to your belly and releasing through your abdominal muscles. That is your sphinx pose. When you have counted your inhale and exhale up to 60, 60 counts, you have to shift yourself upright, bringing your legs in front of you. Activate through your heels, through your toes. Notice your calf muscles, hamstrings connecting in with the mat. Think of length through your spine, you're rolling your shoulders away. This is your staff pose, Dandasana. Use your inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. When you find your forward fold, wherever you land, your palms may land on your shins, on your knees, or going towards your feet. Wherever they land is perfect. Practicing non-judgment and non-attachment to your pose. And stay for 60 counts. Drawing your breath in, sending it to the back of your ribs. Full exhale, sinking into your pose. That's your seated forward fold. When you have completed your forward fold, start to shift upright and move onto your forearms. Shifting back onto your forearms, bringing your spine to lay on the mat. Start to hug your knees in towards your chest, taking either your, your shins or taking the outer blades of your feet into your happy baby pose, shifting from left to right, massaging your lower spine. Start to bring your feet to the width of your mat, bring your arms out into a T position, shuffling through your shoulders. Shift your knees over to the right side of your mat. Notice how your hips are feeling here. If you would like a deeper release, start to bring your right foot on the outside of your left knee. And this can help to release through your, your hips. This is your supine twist. And stay for 60 counts. I won't say 60 counts, but I'm counting on you to stay for 60 counts. And you can pause me while you count to 60. When you have completed your counts to 60 on your right hand side, please bring your knees back into the center. Start to hug your knees in towards your chest, shifting from left to right, massaging through your spine. When you have completed this, bring your feet back to the mat. Bring your arms out into a T position on the mat and shuffling through your shoulders. Bring your knees to the left side of your mat. Settle here, bring awareness into how your hips are feeling. Noticing your shoulder blades. Notice if you're holding through your palms or through your face. Sometimes when the body is stressed, we can start to frown or to hold onto our muscles or hold our breath. What this means is that you may have gone too far with your pose and back off slightly rather than going for that same intensity. When you find your knees to the left side of the mat, check in and notice if you would like to bring your left foot on top of the outside of your right knee. Staying in your twist, counting your breath, your inhale and exhale up to 60. You can pause me again and I'll meet you at the other side. When you have completed 
your release through your left side of your body. Start to bring your knees into your chest. Have your knees in taking your shins or the outer blades of your feet into your happy baby Ananda Balasana, shifting from left to right. In your own time, begin to bring your legs out long on the mat to find your Shavasana. I'll show you Shavasana. Shavasana is your final resting pose, your corpse pose, and it helps to seal the practice. Bring your legs to the width of your mat, bringing your arms to where it's comfortable for you. It may be by your hips, or if you'd prefer, bring your arms above your head by your ears. Drawing your breath in, full exhale. Stay in your Shavasana while I guide you into your pose. Stay in your Shavasana, bring awareness to your feet, inviting your toes to soften. Awareness into the weight of your feet, scanning your heels, bring attention to your shins. Can you allow your muscles around your shins, calf muscles to soften? Draw your attention up to your upper legs, to your hamstring, quad muscles. Notice the weight of your hip bones. Can you allow your belly to soften? As you draw your breath in, send your inhale to the back of your ribs. My neighbor just started my hip hop. <laughs> this will happen. <laughs> Bring your attention inward. Allow your shoulder blades to soften. Bringing your arms forearms, fingers to soften. Awareness into your neck muscles, your face, something through your face, through your forehead. Stay in your Shavasana for five minutes, at least five minutes in your Shavasana resting. Pause me for five minutes. When you're ready, you can switch me back on. Start to bring movement through your fingers, through your toes, hug your knees in towards your chest. Shift yourself upright into your seated meditation pose. Think length through your spine, softening through your shoulders. Drawing your breath in, full exhale. Bring your palms to touch. Thank you so much for joining me for yin yoga. Take care of yourselves. Namaste, bye.